Hello, and welcome to another This Month in Datadog. My name is Jeremy, and I'm the VP of Technical Community and Open Source. This month, we're sharing new features, product announcements, resources, and more live from the floor at reInvent. And now, This Month in Datadog. Introducing Cloud Sim Investigator. Cloud Sim Investigator visualizes activity within your AWS environment by analyzing CloudTrail logs, allowing you to identify the root cause of suspicious behavior without running complex queries. Pivot seamlessly into related observability and security data to gain critical context and to resolve issues in minutes. The API catalog, now in beta, automatically creates a central hub for your API endpoints to centralize knowledge and monitor the health of your APIs. This year at reInvent, we're excited to announce that we've expanded our coverage of AWS-related services with new integrations for Amazon Security Lake, AWS Control Tower Account Factory Customization, AWS Compute Optimizer, and Amazon EKS add-ons. That was just a sneak peek of the many features we've released this month. For a complete roundup, visit the link shown. This month in the spotlight, I'd like to introduce product manager Steven Pinkerton, who's going to tell you more about universal service monitoring. Thanks, Jeremy. Universal service monitoring is a new offering on top of Datadog's infrastructure monitoring that makes it easy to instantly discover, map, and monitor every service, all without changing any code. USM helps light up your service catalog so that you can start assigning owners, on-call rotations, run books, and more. We built USM because customers kept telling us that they had too many services going unmonitored and that standardization initiatives to roll out organization-wide monitors and service level objectives were taking too long. Infrastructure teams always have new services that they need to monitor and support. And whether developers at their company built them or they came through an acquisition, or if they're an open source tool that they're standing up internally, USM can help monitor them. And setup is easy. The same team who rolled out the Datadog agent can enable USM just as easily by changing a configuration. Using Helm charts, for example, it's only a one-line change. USM works by hooking into the Linux kernel using a powerful technology called eBPF, which ensures security and low overhead, even for high-throughput microservices. And several Datadog products already use eBPF for these exact reasons, such as our network performance monitoring and cloud workload security. Let's see what it looks like. Here, we're looking at a list of new services that my team is responsible for monitoring. Before we even think about building new features, we need some kind of baseline visibility to stay on top of issues that are already impacting our end users. So we enabled universal service monitoring in the Datadog agent. USM discovered all the services that we see here without any code changes or redeployments. As we migrate these new services to our own infrastructure, it's important to understand their dependency graph to ensure zero downtime for end users. USM automatically generates this service map thanks to the data collected in the agent. We can see the key performance metrics of the service, like its current load, latency, and errors. And we can see the service's upstream and downstream dependencies. When there's an issue like now, we want to make sure that the right engineer is on it. So let's rule out any irrelevant issues. First, we can see if errors are concentrated on a particular endpoint, or if they started after a recent deployment. In this case, it looks like they did. We can also rule out infrastructure issues like crash loops, and we can check our application logs for any other relevant information. To further root causes issue, we can enable APM and continuous profiler to get request level and code level insights. And to better understand how these new services measure up in terms of reliability, we can set up a service level objective and add it to our team's dashboard, and we can track this alongside all of our other health and business metrics. To recap, USM is the foundation of service observability. It makes it easy to instantly discover, map, and monitor every service running in your infrastructure so that you can detect and localize issues quickly before they impact end users. As I mentioned, we're recording today at reInvent in Las Vegas. Here to tell you more about our presentations is Jason Yi. This year, Datadog presented three sessions at AWS reInvent. 
In their talk, Observability in the Real World, Datadog's Junaid Ahmed and Ariel Allen from Starbucks helped attendees understand where to begin when bringing observability into an organization. Junaid detailed an iterative approach, starting small and building upon auto discovery and auto instrumentation to simplify the process. Ariel then provided insight on how this was done at Starbucks. In our second session, Datadog's Andrew Krug partnered up with Alex Hardman from LaunchDarkly to talk about innovative approaches to security. Together, they discussed how security risks have evolved along with cloud modernization, and especially with managed services. They also shared how feature flags, often considered a developer tool, can be used by security teams to mitigate threats. In my session, I shared the lessons that we learned at Datadog as we migrated several services from x86 nodes to Graviton, AWS's ARM64 processor. There were a lot of challenges and quite a few surprises along the way, but that's what makes engineering at Datadog so fun. For more information about these presentations, highlights of other sessions we attended, and a recap of the top announcements from Datadog and AWS, check out our reInvent blog post. Thanks, Jason. That wraps up this month's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. We'll see you next year.